Hi there. This is um, this. The most beautiful part of Romania, in my opinion. And you're looking at Bucej Mountains and the valley that leads from the south of Romania to Transylvania passing by Bran Castle or also known as uh, Dracula Castle one of its f famous residents was uh, Count Vlad Dracul known as Dracula for you English speakers I'm showing showing you this because this uh, dramatic landscape made me fall in love with the area and also with this uh, little plot of land we are standing on it's uh, 1000 square meters surface and uh, I'm intending to build a uh, small mountain cabin not a cabin it will not be a a basic building it will have all the comfort and uh, I love this place so much that uh, 10 years ago or 12 years ago when I visited the area and uh, therefore searched for for plots of land that were for sale when the estate agent brought me here and he asked me a price, it didn't even cross my mind to negotiate. I think he saw it on my face that uh, this bit of grass was calling me. So here I am, 12 years later, ready to, to break the ground, as they say. A lot of land. It's uh, it's following this this tree line. Goes down to those uh, dead trees. Comes across like that, and then climbs up here. It's rather long and quite narrow, but uh, wide enough so I can have my uh, sixty something square meters footprint cabin the advantage of it is that uh, it's facing south so my roof is going to be perfectly oriented for some uh, solar panels or photovoltaic for photovoltaic panels because uh, Everybody in this area is uh, off grid. The grid is far behind us, and it's too costly to to bring it here. And the cost of electricity is quite high nowadays, so the photovoltaic system makes all the sense. Also for the green credentials, talking about green. Look at this green. And in front of you just uh, went past a black woodpecker, quite rare. I was telling you about this valley. <clears throat> it, it, it stretches between um, 
between Buchej Mountains in front of us and uh, Piazza Clay, which is at the back. I'll show you later. And uh, it makes the link, or it, it facilitates the passage between um, south of Romania and Transylvania. This little village we are in was um, a border village between uh, Austro-Hungary Empire and uh, the Romania, well, Romania back then. And it also was the first uh, tourist village. I'm not sure exactly what that was, what that meant, but uh, it's uh, it's something that the villagers are proud of for some reasons. Before saying goodbye and before breaking the ground I would probably have to show you that um, last year I started building this uh, this retaining wall probably which was um, built by hand with these huge boulders for this I needed to invent, not to invent, but to use some very old technologies. Maybe dating to ancient Egypt. I felt like uh, a pharaoh with no slaves. And the reason I built this is uh, because the road that leads to this uh, plot of land it's quite narrow and this is the road and if I park on the side of the road my neighbor cannot access his property so as you can see now the retaining wall allowed me to win another one and a half meters and uh, I would win some more because I have plenty of boulders waiting for me and they will make that wall higher so I can uh, fill this with earth okay up here, so this is the back of what I've shown you earlier, and in the, in the background you see the other mountains that I mentioned, Piatra Krajewi, which uh, is uh, it's a tiny massive if I can say so. But uh, the most spectacular that you'll find in the Carpathian Mountains, at least in the Romanian Carpathians. Really, really wild and jagged and full of wildlife and uh, uh, very inaccessible, hence the wildlife, because not too many people uh, courageous or well enough prepared to tackle these mountains. Very famous for alpinists, for climbers. Is alpinist the word in English? I don't know. And some uh, silly music in the background. And 
just behind that uh, little peak up there, just on the other side, it's uh, the town of Brasov, famous Romanian town. I think now I can say goodbye and everything that I mentioned earlier. Subscribe, like and comment. I will keep you posted with um, the details of building the retaining wall and the saga that I went through last year. Thank you. Till next time, I would like to leave you with a teaser. That's an orchid, a wild, a wild orchid. Not a bad place to be an orchid, really. And the proof is that it's not, it's not alone. It's a bunch of them. But that's not my teaser. The teaser is. piece of metal, metal bar, sticking out that rock. What would be the purpose of that? Now, the hint I will give you is that just across this, across this road is the plot of land that we've been talking about. It's actually well uh, marked by the cows. The one that comes towards us and uh, the ones at the bottom. So, what would be the purpose of that metal bar? I'm uh, waiting for your comments in the comment section and uh, let's see who's guessing. <laughs>